Wow. We're about to send it on the new ski. I can't wait. This is going to be, this is my first ever beach launch. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. Ah! The water's flat. It's absolute glass off. You ready? I bloody love this thing. It is so epic. I wanted to come to the beach, have a bit of a yarn, tell you guys about a crazy experience that I had a few weeks back when I was on the spearfishing charter. So it was the first day of diving and the weather was absolutely trash. There was so much swell and it started to rain too, but we were out here, we had our gear ready, we were keen and nothing was gonna stop us from shooting some epic fish. Let's get it boys. No pressure. Nah. 20 kilo back. Yep. <laughs> so we still got in the uh, in the old dories and started to steam out to the reef to have a spear. We were just getting smashed. The swell was coming over the boat, filling up the boat. It was raining. There was so much wind. It was just unbelievable conditions. And this bloody tinny we had, had an actual like manual bilge pump. And for those who don't know what a bilge pump is, that basically sucks the water out of the boat when it starts to fill up. So in the back of our boat, there was water coming up through the floorboards. Yeah, lads, doing a good job. Go, no. Woo! Go, go on, go! <laughs> oh my God. And we're here just pumping this manual bilge pump just trying to get as much water out we we're pretty determined so um after a bit of mucking around we got to the spot and we got in the water and started diving it was a whole different world underwater each time you'd come up from a dive you'd see the raindrops on the top of the water and you'd come up into like a cyclone. But then when your head's back down underwater, it was just so calm and so still. So we all managed to get in and shoot some nice fish, some good coral trout were going around and things like that. Fish man, wow, look at that. Show, show me your shot. Coming back to the <laughs> oh my gosh, by the skin of the tail. And pretty much it was my turn to be Bodhi and I stayed Bodhi for quite some time because I was feeling pretty sick. Jed managed to, to bring in a huge trout and he said, get in there, like it's popping off. There's heaps of life down there. So I grabbed my gun, flippers, and I jumped in. As soon as I dove down, there was just so much life around. And then I heard someone's gun go off. Chris is there with a big Spanish mackerel on the end of his line. And that was just something that I would dream of. Like I've never shot a Spanish mackerel, neither has Chris. So we were all pretty bloody excited when we saw this Spanish mackerel. It was just one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'll roll on all the footage and you can just watch how it played out.
Okay. So I've got... <laughs> no, no. Wow. Yo! That was awesome. So we ended up getting this fish in the boat and we had a whole esky full of delicious eating reef fish. The big Mackie, it was just a good time. And as we we're heading back in, we hear over the radio that someone's been stabbed. We pretty much knew nothing, so we steam back in. And to our surprise, once we get back to the to the Eastern Voyager, there is like a 25 kilo Spanish mackerel just laying on the deck out the back, and it just put our mackerel to shame. I couldn't believe it, so I came over to this thing, and I remember filming it, and I was just giving it a pat. I don't know, I was just so amazed by what I was seeing. And then I saw all the people sort of crowded around in the seating area, so. I went over and poor old Wayne was on the stretcher, white as a ghost, looking bad. And so pretty much what had happened was he'd shot himself a huge mackerel. And during the fight, he's trying to put it out with his dive knife. And from what I've heard, pretty much the mackerel sort of swung at him and his hand's gone down and his leg's gone up at the same time. And he's just stabbed himself in the thigh with his dive knife. And these Adreno knives are bloody sharp. Like they're not to mess around with. So he stabbed himself in the leg and pretty much finished off the fish, got back to the boat, chucked it in. He was all right, but the stab was so bad that the muscle had like bunched up in his leg. And so we knew, oh, you know, he needs to seek medical attention. Like this is a pretty serious stab wound. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to steam back overnight and, uh, and get Wayne some help. But what had ended up happening was he got airlifted off the boat. Now this was some of the most incredible stuff I've ever seen. We were charging as this helicopter comes down and picks up Wayne. I'm gonna stop talking. I just wanna show you some of the shots and you'll see this thing was hovering right above our heads while we're steaming along because apparently that's what they are. It's like, it's bloody mental. So I'll roll on the footage and you can have a look at how that went down. All right, so the situation is uh, one of the blokes on this charter basically accidentally stabbed himself in the leg. And so he's getting helicoptered out of here right now this was his bed he was actually bunking with me but pretty much the helicopter's here to pick him up and i think this is going to be pretty epic to see hopefully he makes a makes a quick recovery i don't know if you can hear it but it's coming back So from what I heard, Wayne's doing all good. He had surgery and he should be on the mend. But after he after he took off, we all cracked into his Spanish mackerel and started having the most beautiful slices of sashimi. It was so incredible. So cheers, Wayne, for that. And um, there was plenty of mackerel to go around. I just thought like this story was too good to not share and tell you guys, you know, what I was thinking at the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story. And I have a chunk of Chris's mackerel to cook up with the uh the smoke of the sava on the beach and we're just gonna take it take it easy we're on holiday so anywhere along this beach i'll get the smoker out cook up that mackerel and we'll see how it tastes so stick around for that we got the sun just setting in the background it's bloody beautiful guys and pretty much we're gonna cook up this mackerel so we'll head back up to the smoker whack it on and just enjoy it you can see the beautiful sun just setting there look at this reflection i had such an epic time on the ski this morning still can't believe that it's you know it's happening so um yeah let's get up and cook this fish while that uh sunset it's beautiful Woo. 
schöne Schnick. Juhu. Wowie. How beautiful is that sunset? It's incredible. Wow. All right, so we got the fillets here. Um, some nice mackerel. I got a bit of garlic salt, I think. And we'll just coat that, get it in the smoker, and just start cooking it up. So, yeah, I'll cut this up and season it up a little bit. <laughs> Can you open that? Oh, fishy hands. Look at that. Mmm. Sort of just winging it here. Trying something a bit different. See how the garlic tastes. Oh, I wish we had some paprika. That would be nice. Alrighty. Those bad boys should be ready very soon. Yeah, it's already starting to smoke. <laughs> Yum. I just can't believe the sunset. Gosh, should I get the drone up real quick? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Hell yeah, that's looking nice. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's fresh. Uh, nothing better than cooking up some uh, smoked mackerel in the rave shirt. Expect these soon. <laughs> Let's see how they're looking, eh? No surprises. Let's just see how they're going. Oh. 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 Do you think? I think they're done. I need to check it with it. Let me check it. Holy oh, shit. Oh. They're definitely done, so we'll get them out now. Alrighty. Um. Woo. <laughs> Still fire bands around here, so um, this is pretty nice. I miss it. I really do. Oh, wow. Look at them. <coughs> Far out. Oh, that hit me hard. <laughs> mm. I can't believe what I'm looking at. That looks absolutely delicious. Here you have it guys. The smoked mackerel. Now, this looks way better than anything I've smoked before. Shall we eat it? Sun is just, last light's about to go, so we may as well hook in. Please. Wait, do we have Koopy? <gasps> do we? Shall I run back? Yeah. I'll run back, I'll be two seconds. <laughs> Crap, we forgot the Koopy. We need the Koopy. 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 Woo. Thank you! <laughs> we got the QP! We got the QP! They actually just chucked it over for us. Did they? Yeah. Legends. Oh, not gone stingy. How good is that? Alright, whoa, that's heaps. No, it's not. <laughs> I want to taste the fish. Be, be honest. Oh my god. Be completely honest. Mm. Oh, look at that white meat. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly shot in the fire. Huge shout out to Chris for shooting this fish. That was such an awesome catch, and um, 
yeah, I can't wait to get back out and keep spearing with those boys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, thanks for supporting me. If you'd like to grab some Shorehawk, head over to www.shorehawk.co. We're just gonna finish eating this fish on the beach and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So stay safe and we'll see you then guys. <laughs> it's falling to pieces. That's what it's meant to do. Beautiful. Oh, she breaks away. Mm. See ya, legends.